So today I have more of a fun deck. Bastos is more like salt and pepper on a dish. Just at the end, just a little BAM! He sprinkles into a bunch of different decks, kind of adds a little bit of something to them, but the deck is never about him. So in order to make the deck about him, we are adding support cards to really hone in on what he does. So those support cards are primarily Wong and Grandmaster. We do have Psylocke and Zabu to get Wong down on turn three into a turn four Fastos and double up his effect. We have Cersei to play on top of our Wong lane to have two transformations, two upgrades. We have Blue Marvel to, of course, spread out some buffs and power. We have Iron Man to go really big in a certain lane. Shang-Chi is here for our tech. This is mostly a fun deck, so this is probably just going to be a highlight video. I would not advise using keys on Fastos, at least now. Uh, he will probably just be an accent piece to a couple of decks, and he's really not worth building around unless you just like to have fun with the randomness. That's a lot of what this Eternal Season is about, these random cards. So I'm going to highlight my rank just to show that I'm probably going to drop rank. This is a fun deck, and that's all we're here for. We're not here to gain ranks. We're just here to enjoy ourselves. Okay, first up, we have Rockwall. We have the beginning part of the combo that we want to pull off. If you can't tell, I'm a big combo deck fan. We have all of the pieces of our combo. We will go... Psylocke over here. Question mark. Okay, junk deck, what fun. <laughs> they may goblin me in the middle. If they don't, and I draw into Cersei, maybe that's my Cersei lane. Isle of Silence. Fantastic. So do I play Wong here? I won't. I will play Wong here so I get the double effect of Bastos. Oh, that stinks. Well, my my ongoing won't go away. This is probably a full-on junk deck with uh, Doc Ock. So, Bastos here. And do I start getting cards down for the Doc Ock lane, which will in all likelihood be right? I'll be patient. Okay. This might be a Affliction deck with Hazmat. Yes, playing Wong right would have been perfect. I would have had so much space. We get a reduced cost Sean and a increased power Sean. Uh, they're gonna dock ock me. And this Cersei's gonna hurt. They did not dock ock me. What is this? I think this is a negative affliction deck. We got a free Ant Man with buffed power. I think I still play Cersei mid, but I also don't want priority. Let's see, I, if I get my Zabu down here, I, w I need five energy, I will have seven energy next turn. So that's Zabu and Cersei. So then just play the rocket. Yep, Wong in the hazmat, there that is. And then Odin. Okay, so it's definitely Thirsty Middle. That gets rid of all of the negative affliction there. <laughs> and then I think it's Zabu and Ant-Man. Like and subscribe. And then just play out the Electra. Let's let's roll this and see how it is. We pulled off the combo I wanted to do. It is worthy? Odin. Let's see if this is enough. Are ye worthy? It's definitely enough middle, unless we really get hosed with RNG. But is it enough on the... 
on the right side. Okay. Oh, <laughs> pulled it out. We pulled off our combo and listen, I, I could have scripted a better start for this video. This is genuinely the first match after I started recording. The all-in Fastos, Fastos delivered. He really delivered. We played, what did we play that got buffed? The Zabu and the Ant-Man. And no joke, the Zabu and the Ant-Man's power, it legitimately mattered. We only won by three. Zabu was seven and Ant-Man was three. And Zabu got the blue Marvel buff. Ant-Man got the his own buff, of course. Cersei did her thing. And this was just perfect. Uh, don't get fooled. This this deck isn't some killer, some meta killer. <laughs> uh, but uh, it did it did work out this game. Okay, next up we are against Gar Saxon. Quantum Tunnel first location. We do have Zabu into Wong. We are up against Destroy. So Sean could come in. We got the combo again. I am shocked. I was doing a bunch of testing and the combo was never coming together. <laughs> so, so it's nice for the game to be cooperating when uh, I actually am recording. Mojo World is, that's good. So I almost assuredly play Iron Man middle. Filling Mojo World is always tough. That's funny. Filling Mojo World is always tough for destroy decks. And especially if I can duck priority, then I can throw down a Sean. I definitely need to change my underwear. So I may forego the Cersei again because filling Mojo That's World is very that. tough for my opponents. And this might be where I snap, but they might not have. If Wolverine bounced left, that would have been ideal. Then I could have guaranteed I have priority, but because I'm winning Mojo World, I'm going to be winning the tiebreaker. So I think I just play Blue Marvel down here and potentially I go Iron Man and Electra middle or we see what I draw into. Maybe I draw into a free, a free Ant-Man. There's Venom. So this is either a Zola. What a game. No, Zola doesn't make sense. And yeah, I still have priority. I really want to snap. <laughs> but I I suppose I won't. I will go Electra Middle Sean Middle and Grandmaster over here. a lot of cards they probably played Deadpool middle and I forget what Deadpool's at and they are clearly going fishing for null and or death oh they threw a death away well we win left on the Nico <laughs> and what is this yeah Boy, that Nico saved my hide. Thank you, Nico. Uh, we pulled off the combo again. We were, we were definitely gonna lose. I don't know why they're fist bumping me, but GG's. Uh, they they lost because of the Nico gamble, and they also assumed I was going to win Mojo World as well. Because again, destroy decks are very disadvantaged in the Mojo World. They just gave it up. But uh, yeah, we were able to pull it out thanks to the RNG from Nico instead of my cards. Okay, next up we have not a threat. I'm not sure I believe them. Murder World is our first location. We have Electron, Ant-Man. Those are better saved. 
so I will be patient. I do have Wong and Cersei. That's a good combo. I have Zabu. So if I go Zabu, Wong, yeah, I can do that. So we will we will load up right because of Murder World and Strange Academy. So give me a, another crappy third location. No! No! This game sometimes. I guess I'm playing long middle and hoping he floats left. Face the I could play Asuka. Grandmaster Junior. on the Zabu and have the Zabu go middle. But then I'm in the same predicament. We actually drew into what I wanted to do as well. Bastos. And uh, do I get down a card now? I guess I'm patient again. And this is going to be Beta Ray. Boy, playing a fun deck is, uh, is not great all of the time. Getting a three cost Iron Man is uh, funny. I Cersei now. The reason being, this three cost Iron Man is so unpredictable. If I can get. If I can get Sean, that would be even better because this might be a Hammer Odin play. Cersei, how could you betray me? What can I do? Should I even see this out? I mean, it could just load up middle. This is just ridiculous. Let's let's see if I can pull this out. Oh. Okay. Are you kidding me? Did we do this? <laughs> Victory! <laughs> I am recording, right? I better be recording. So this is definitely the last game. <laughs> you you got to see the combo this deck wants to pull off. Fastos, even though he didn't live to see the end he did help me with the blue marvel who got plus what did he get plus two electra and ant-man just got the buff from blue marvel so actually two points from fastos legitimately matter and they, oh 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 i was laughing so much both of their hammers got discarded thirsty you crazy fox What a game. What a game. So as you can see, we dropped a ton of ranks. This video wasn't to show really good snapping and retreating. It was just to have a little fun with Fastos. Okay, so here's the deck once again. I again do not advise you to try to use keys or definitely not tokens to pick up Fastos. He is strictly a fun card right now. He does have his uses, but nothing crazy. So if you miss out on him, it's no big deal. Otherwise, I did a lot of experimentation with different decks, and I will throw it to a clip package from those games and other games I edited out. Wong, I'll tell you what this is. Can I snap again? <laughs> this is... Namora. So I should be able to win left and middle. And I think I get the mock... 
this is so this here is a dilemma between do i want to potentially gain more cubes or do i want to escape with just the two if i play mockingbird now they can run math and potentially just escape for that too so i'm going to play the a group for the more cubes uh, i can actually throw away my ice man so i think i do that but we steal their long bonus they play Namora and only get one buff. We Iceman something in their hand. There is the Namora. All so presumably go. they play a Odin middle. And that's only eight. So we have four, five, six, seven. But I also could play... Oh, I can't. I can't get down armor now. So I think I just do blue marble middle. They retreated anyway. <laughs> so so they retreated anyway, but honestly, this was our best play for them to see out the game. Because potentially they think they have right one. And they might be able to challenge left. They could fool themselves into thinking that. But even the Odin play middle, that's only up by two middle. And that's still losing left. So I can see why they they got out of here. But that is why I played it uh, slower. It was to maximize the potential to gain more cubes. And that's what this game is about. It's not about winning. It's about gaining more cubes or losing less cubes. But otherwise, this is probably a game I should leave in. I am <laughs> Iron Man. Now, was it enough points? Because I did not do the math. I did not do the math at all. Yes, it's it should be plenty of points. And then we swipe the rogue, and just like that, a masterful first game. I am Iron on the flyer we took because again, this was the lane where they were going to play Iron Man if they had it. Let's roll the dice on Cersei. I don't know what to think of the Iron Man. You figure they have to play something there. They only have one slot to play left. So let's see what Cersei brings us. Oh. I am <laughs> Iron Man. <laughs> oh, is that going to beat us anyway? <laughs> <laughs> oh what a loss oh boy what a loss oh that's hilarious the the cersei giveth and the sage taketh 